Is my camera looking blurry right now? It seemed like it's like, I don't know, it's looking kind of foggy to me. I hope ain't nothing wrong with it. Or maybe it's just a smoke screen. YouTube, team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And these Ravens, boy, they do it again. They do it again. Ravens with them smoke screens, they are so good at it too. They are so good at it. They went and brought brought in we didn't get no report that ravens were interested in jason pierre paul they're like no, no no they actually brought him in for a visit brought him in for the for a visit he over there uh doing the instagram story from the locker room and whatnot oh yeah good vibes a lot of vibes in here oh it's all vibes okay cool oh yeah and they end up hitting us with that swerve and signing steven means um, and Stephen Means, it's funny because this offseason, the Ravens are the Ravens have been in ultimate what's up big head mode. Because the Ravens, they just they want that old thing back. They really do. The Ravens, they tried to bring back Zadarius Smith. We know what happened with <laughs> yikes. Um, the Ravens, they brought back Tony Jefferson. Uh, again, who they had ended up bringing him back last year. Uh, where they were like, you know what? Bringing you back was so nice. We want to do it twice. Come on back. They re-signed Geno Stone, who they had originally drafted. Then they cut him, and then he went to the Texans. Then they signed him back, and now they re-signed him again. Uh, now and They also brought back Brent Urban. Brent Urban. Who was last with the team, I want to say in 2017 or 2018. One of those two, but... They brought him back again. They brought back Michael Pierce, who was last with the team in, in 2018 and 19. They bringing all these boys back, man. They like, hey, y'all got away the first time. Y'all ain't getting away again, man. So Ravens, they clearly, and then Josh Bynes. I mean, they, they done brought this dude back like 50, 60 times already. Um, so Ravens are clearly in what's up, big head bold. Uh, this offseason and then when you think about uh, the draft coupled with free agency and moves that the Ravens both have and have not made it's looking like they want they, they, they sent a text to 2019 to that offense saying hey what's up big head we, we trying to get back with you so we, we'll see how things end up working out though and we'll see how it it plays out but anyway um, Stephen Means I, you know what? I really thought when I first saw that the Ravens signed Stephen Means, I want, I wonder if it's just me or maybe I'm, I must be confusing him with somebody else because I was like a thousand percent sure that he was on the Bucks' most recent Super Bowl team. I really thought he was. So I looked up the teams that he played for besides the Baltimore Ravens because, you know, he played for them already. But I looked up the teams that he played for. He got dra drafted in the fifth round in 2013. Uh, by the Bucks, so he played for the Bucks for a couple of years. Of course, the Ravens. He played for the Houston Texans for a little bit, the Eagles, and also the Falcons. And Falcons were his most recent team uh, from 2018 uh, up until last year. Um, so whew, I'm sure for him, just being in the locker room with a winning culture, he just he's gonna be like, "Wow, this is a breath of fresh air." He probably loved that land now, but he was like, ah, I, yeah. oh, y'all y'all went over here? Okay. Uh, in the playoffs, got to get some stuff adjusted, but, oh, y'all be doing a lot of winning? Off? Okay, uh, that's cool. I'm with it. But Steven Means, uh, outside linebacker slash DN, um, and somebody that uh, you would expect, especially definitely for training camp, uh, he, he takes the place of Mr. Derek Wolf. Um, and, and it's funny because y'all know that, this whole offseason, I've been like, hey, I, I do not see Derek Wolf being a Baltimore Raven in 2022. Don't see him being on the team. I thought they were going to cut him. They're going to cut him, release him, get rid of him, whatever. Um, and then they signed Brent Urban. When they signed Brent Urban, I was like, oh, well, <laughs> I guess that's a wrap, y'all. <laughs> I guess Derek Wolf time coming to an end sooner rather than later. And then... They brought in Jason Pierre Paul for a visit. And it was like, oh, oh yeah. yeah then, then Derek Wolf, he talked about the hip surgery and what. And it was like, oh, bingo. There we go. And then they ended up uh, releasing him on the, uh, the, with the injury settlement. So we haven't found out how much that is yet. That still don't know. 
Um, but Steven means he ends up taking his place. Um, well, taking his roster spot, excuse me. Not necessarily his place, but his roster spot. Uh, the Ravens, um, they certainly, again, like we talked about in the previous video today, they have a lot of depth in so many areas. A lot of depth. And what depth does, what quality depth does is it brings out competition because you got 90 men on the roster right now. 90 men ain't making the squad. You can only keep either, what is it, 53 or 55? One of those two. I forget what. I, I know it before it was 53, but I think that it changed, but I'm not 1,000% sure. But either way, there's only a select number of roster spots. So when you bring in guys, when you bring in guys for competition at different spots, it can only make everybody who's on a team currently better. Because people, especially at spots where it's a lot of depth. And, and again, Ravens have a lot of depth in a lot of different places, except for wide receiver. But... With this, it adds another D into the mix, another outside linebacker to the mix. And now I wonder, because we got a couple of weeks left to see with Justin Houston and his situation. Um, there's a lot of pressure on, ooh, you know what? I didn't even think about that. Maybe they go on a different, maybe they go another route. What I was going to say is um, with Justin Houston, because uh, this ex I would expect him to be back now Ravens they can they can rescind that unrestricted free agent tender that they offered to Justin Houston or that they assigned to Justin Houston they can they can take it back and be like oh well, never mind you're a free agent um but the way that it works is that uh if he doesn't get signed by another team by the beginning of the training camp or like July 22nd whatever date it is then he will come back to the Ravens um so with that being said, I, I was going to say, I wonder, like, how they're going to work out the roster spot when he comes back. Because Stephen Means is somebody that's in that same spot. Like, the edge position, outside linebacker, DN, and whatnot. You got Jalen Ferguson there. You got Brent Urban. Well, Brent Urban, just DN. No outside linebacker about Brent Urban at all. Uh, but he's more DN. Um, so, who else you got? Uh... Man, yeah, so you got Stephen Means, Brent Urban, Jalen Ferguson, Calais Campbell, kind of. Calais Campbell, you could, like, move him around some different spots. but So you got, you got some options there, but my point is you have, oh, you got <coughs> Malik Harrison. They say they're going to try him out at the end. Oh, I'm tripping. A dot fade away. A dot fade away. Man, I'm oh I'm tripping. Wow. Tyus Bowser. Wow, I'm tripping. Wow. Today David Ajabo eventually. Again, a little red shirt right now. Cause it is Achilles. But okay. So you know sometimes some stuff take a little bit longer for to get clicking with me. Um so you you have a lot of guys there right now. You add Justin Houston back to the mix, uh it gets just the pot gets that much thicker uh when it comes to your depth. Um, so I just wonder like if I wonder if he would be like sort of a placeholder till Justin Houston comes back and then they'd be like, oh, OK, Justin Houston's back. All right. We're going to release you because it happens all the time. NFL is a cold, cold business, man. Cold business. Um, but what I was going to say is that it, it this could be it could literally be a placeholder type of thing. It could be one of the oh, we staying ready so we ain't got to get ready just in case, um, because. He won't even have any time. Say, for instance, this happens if if Justin Houston comes back and they cut Stephen Means, he won't have he will not have had any time to even prove himself because Justin Houston he will be back by the start of training camp. Start the first day of training camp. That's like the the latest that he will be back by. Um, so that spot, like his spot, you know, his spot is good. Justin Houston's spot is good. As long as he's, they still have that tender issue to him, his spot is safe. Um, but with nothing happening over the next couple of weeks, like the, the only thing they got is the, the rookie mini camp coming up soon or whatever. But um, that's it. Ain't, ain't the, vet, the veterans are off. They're off. So he won't even get to show them what he got in practice. He won't even get to show them like, hey, I'm like this. I could do this. I could do that. Da, 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 da. Because, well, and even if it's not Stephen Means, if it's somebody else, 
once Justin Houston comes, if he comes back, it's not set in stone, but I mean, you feel like it is. But if Justin Houston comes back, whoever roster spot he takes, they will have already OTAs was it OTAs and minicamp was it for them. So I, I just felt like that was that was interesting. Sorry about the little the little. Well, I ain't sorry about the rant. I ain't sorry about that. But you're just thinking out loud. So we'll see what happens with that. But um, from what I saw from Stephen Means, um, I did watch a uh, a little bit of the, him on Wired Up from the Falcons. I think it's called Wired Up, and he just seemed like a real high energy guy, um, high energy teammate, uh, a, a vocal leader, um, somebody that's just uh, just has a lot of fun. And that's that's what I saw when I watched that video. Uh, somebody that has a whole lot of fun. Um, so the Ravens, they <laughs> they could certainly. I mean, you can't get enough of those people in the locker room, especially this year. Like Ravens last year, you know them boys was not having fun with all them injuries, man. with all them injuries and all them close losses. Ooh, yeah, they they wasn't having fun like that, man. They really wasn't. But um, so we'll see what happens. I'm I'm really naive to his game. Um, do remember his name, but naive to his game. Uh, so I, I, I really honestly couldn't tell you about him, uh, in that aspect. Um, but from the business side, uh, well, from the roster side, again, it's depth. It's depth. Straight up depth. But it's depth for special teams, depth for defense, depth for defensive end, depth for outside line. It's, it's depth. So, again, last year, last year was a very nice lesson when it comes to depth. So, anyway, love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Shout out to Stephen Means uh, for making, well, for, yeah, for making the team because they had him in for tryouts yesterday, either yesterday or the day before yesterday. I think it was yesterday though, because it was him and I think two other guys that they had in for tryouts. Um, but hey, he ended up trying out and he got the job. So he put in his application, and the Ravens were like, "You're hired." Oof, I done put in a lot of applications in the past, and I done got a lot of your highs, but I think I got way more. Uh, yeah, we're going to go in a different direction, but that's a whole other story for another day. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And just like somebody's roster spot will be uh, when Justin Houston gets back, who that is, I don't know, but just like they will be when Houston comes back, I'm out.